everyone, it's Kim here from the Empty Bobbin in Port Denison, Dolgra. And we're here today to make a video and we're going to be doing our spicy spiral table runner. Um, we're unsure where this pattern originated from, uh, but it is freely available to download on the internet. Uh, so we're going to take you through some tips and techniques on how to create this beautiful table runner. So I'd like to introduce you to my assistant, Yvonne, who's going to help today um, with setting this out and putting it all together. Hello, everybody. So Yvonne, first of all, we want to talk about colour choices um, yes. on the Spicy Spiral because there is a particular colour. It's about the fourth colour, which will be your main one that swirls around here, and that's cut in the largest of the sizes. So when you're choosing your colours, um, you need to find a pattern that pleases you. So someone, some of them are set out in dark to light. Uh, this one's in dark to light, and that one's that one's got a few light and dark ones. But you need to be able to create it so that you have a light side and then a dark side to give it that offset pattern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, our first thing that we do is to look at the pattern, and on the front you'll notice that there's two different instructions for cutting. So with this particular pattern. You can actually use fat quarters. So if you're using fat quarters, you would cut double the amount of strips and you would have four stratas. Exactly. And if you're cutting it out of a 20 centimetre cut of fabric, then you would have two strips from each piece cut. So on our website, theemptybobbin.com.au, we do have some kits available. We've got some that we've already pre-cut for you and we've got some that are bundles of fabric um, that you can then choose to cut yourself. Mm -hmm. So in the kit that is pre-cut, we've um, cut them. And if you we, if you have a look at the pattern, when uh, it, it, they are cut in different size strips. So your first strip is a three-inch strip. Your next one is a two and three-quarter strip, and then it will go a two and a half-inch strip, and then it is a three and a quarter two and three quarters, three inch strip, and a two and a half, and a three and a quarter. So you can see, and it, when it's all sewn together, you will see how it all comes together. I have pre-sewn, this is a kit, so there's your double bits there, but we have sewn our, what we call a strata. So, they're both the same. You start from the dark. So that is your three, three inch strip and continue down with your different cuts. So there's two, what we call the strata and there's two exactly the same. Now with these stratas, we don't start at one end and sew down and no, then no, turn no, it around no. and sew the other. You always sew from the same end. Is that correct? No. It's no? No. No. Sorry. If you do not want your seams to curve, you would start sewing one, two pieces together that side. Then you will get your next strip and sew from the opposite end because then you don't get that wavy in the, in the end, you won't get that distortion of your seams, even though you're doing your quarter inch seams. Yep. So be please be aware of, of that, because if you have a look, there is no curvy there, hopefully. Now, when we are going to do the cuts, well, we've, we've got to iron them first, so there's yes, a particular way. Yep. You will iron your stratas from your dark down this way. Only for the, uh, for the reason is that when you sew your stratas together, when you sew your strips, the next one, you'll notice that it is sewn away. It's ironed. Ironed in the opposite. I mean, ironed, yeah. In the Sorry. opposite direction. That's okay. <laughs> So it's ironed in the opposite direction. So when you're sewing your strips together, you have one seam that way and one seam that way, and then you don't get the bulk. All right. Righto, so once we've sewn our stratas, you need to lay them both face up 
and you lay one with the light strip at the top and one with the dark strip at the top. And that's all explained in your pattern sheet. So it, it will show you that in the pattern. And there's also on the pattern sheet is this little grid here. Now this is your cutting guide. So this is where it will show you how to cut or what size to cut with your ruler. So we're going to be using the nine degree ruler. And this nine degree ruler actually starts at three inches. So if you could picture that being three inches uh, down to a point, this ruler actually starts at three inches. So we're going to start on here. Now, the first cut says that it's 21 and three quarters. We tend not to cut that one. That's correct. Um, you can cut that one at the end if there's enough room on your um, if there is enough fabric. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so our first cut here will be 21 inches. So we're going to cut one way and then back the other. Is that correct? Yes. We're going down this way, and then we will come back this way. So there is your 21 inch. So you're going to place the 21 inches on the bottom of here so there we're going to cut all the way up here across there and down here all right and it's a good idea <clears throat> if you can to put your board and your mat on the edge of a table so that you can swing yourself around when you come around that corner mm -hmm. to come down the other side so off we go And you'll notice that Yvonne's sliding her fingers down to keep pressure where she needs it on the ruler. Now, if we just hold it there, and if you're lucky enough to be able to go around your table, you can come down. No hurry, just take your time. So that's your 21 inch. Now, we have, let me just nip that a little bit. We have two 21s. So we're going to lay them like that. So one, one with the dark and one with the light. One with the light. Yep. Now you just keep that in place. Now on the pattern it says the next strip is 20 and a quarter. 20 and three quarters. No, 20. I beg your pardon. 20 and a quarter. Okay, <laughs> I will clean my glasses. So it's 20 and a quarter. So we have 20 and a quarter. So again, you're lining up across yes, the top. across the top. Yep. As close to the hip, this corner where we've made the cut. So you don't go right up to there? No. No. Okay. No, just in case. So up we go again. And then around we come again. Takes a bit of bit of doing to cut it out, but you, as you can see with the finished product, it is beautiful. And then we lay them out, the dark one on the dark and the light one on the light. So they're gradually getting smaller as we go. And as we were going along, it's a good idea if you just tick off which one you've cut so that you keep yourself in order so that you don't get confused. So the next one's 19 and a half. And I do have that correct now. <laughs> so it's 19 and a half. So there's the 19, there's the half, yep. So we're going to cut that. And you can see it starting to come down. Make sure I've got that. And then around I go again. Light on light and dark on dark. And so, you sorry. would continue on down until you can't cut any more off of this this side and then as we get to the smaller the third strata set which is what we call on the thrust the strata 
then you would come back these pieces here because they haven't been moved and I just moved it so would that be the 12 12 well inch? you could go your 12 inch so if it's a 12 inch there's we 12 have a 13 inch. and a half mm -hmm. or so, a 12 and three quarter yeah you would cut as many as you can out of this long bit yeah and then these pieces here because you will be able to get every piece out on the on that pattern so that's your 12 inch so that's your here yep. even if you wanted to go to a 13 you will still get your 13 out there yeah even a 13 and a half it yep. says yeah so you will be able to get every every cut out of that pattern you will be able to get out now if they're using fat quarters they would do the same thing absolutely except you would have two so you'd have one fat quarter here yes and then one there and yes. you would still lay them light to dark absolutely. exactly the same exactly the same yes so if you want me to continue on cutting i can do no i think we we've got the cutting so we'll just fold that up so we just go like that now, when you are sewing your pieces together, we're going to go to the dark. So we're going to flip that over. So we're going to have two sets. We're going to have two sets, one light and one dark. So those pieces, that's your biggest piece here. And then this is your second one. And you're going to line that up on this, this end here not this this one here on the cut end on the small end so we're yeah. not going to worry about what's no, happening up here because no. that will all be cut off and there's no seams to match up is there no you don't have to worry about your seams marrying up because it is all staggered and if you can see it's starting to twist now so now i've got one that is sewn this is this strata with the dark at the top the dark at the top so there's your dark and you will continue on to cut down to your three inch. Then this is the light. So what's this one? That's the light. So when you are putting that like that, the light will go opposite. And that is how you are going to get your spicy spiral so Yvonne with this one with the light yes. we flip them over <clears throat> we sew them exactly the same so we put the first one down yes and we sew it down to the right side yes yes so we line mm -hmm. those ones up there so and we, sew that down mm -hmm. so if we have that going like that beg your pardon let me just show the people because sometimes people sew differently. They will start a set different ways and then it comes out wrong. So this here, this is your dark, is going to go around that way. So this one, we'll go up the other way here. we want to make sure we start here. So just lay them together and you can take your pieces and sew them together that way until you get used to what you're doing, as Kim and I have made quite a few of them. So you would make two separate halves like yes. we've done here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Making sure that this light goes that way and the dark goes that way. And that is where you will get your curve. So here is your light joining here. To your darks and there's your light going out that way all right so then once you've got those two halves mm -hmm. together you then sew those two together yes and obviously we're going to have um as you can see when you put these pieces because we've lined up the bottom mm -hmm. we're going to have this bit up the top yes so then we snip across to round off that edge once that's we've, right yep you can use your scissors and just go from point A to point B, or you can use your ruler. And all it is is going for, to the seam and across, and then because you're only going to have a little bit hanging out, yep. and it's just making that curve 
a lot easier for you to to sew yep all right and then <clears throat> to finish off your quilt um or your table runner sorry you can um you can place a piece of quilted calico over the top and stitch around it leaving a little hole to turn that through and poke yes, the end to and then top stitch it yes um this one has been done with wadding in the same fashion with a piece of backing fabric so they've been put together stitched around turned in the right way and then top stitched or you can cut binding on the bias yes and then you can um quilt it so usually you just stitch in the ditch but you can quilt it in any fashion that you like and then you would then trim it up and then bind it as you would normally with your curved um, bias cut mm -hmm. binding mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's it for our spicy spiral table runner um we have kits available on the website and if you'd like a specific colour range made up, then please message us or give us a call and we'll see you next time.